You're watching Good Day Austin on Fox 7. Today we're lucky enough to have one of the premier foot and mouth artists of the world. She is also an Austin resident, Sarah Jane. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, and the reason that we are talking is because this evening from 6 to 9 at Agave Print, there's going to be a show that is uh, showcasing artists such as yourself. That's right. We're going to be uh, from 6 to 9, all three of us. I invited two other mouth painting women to come and do a show with me in commemoration of the founder of the organization, uh, the International Mouth and Foot Painter. Um, I want to give our artists. viewers a little bit of, of context as, as to your history. You, for your whole life, you have been an artist. When you were about 20 years old, you were in a car accident. That's when your neck was broken and you were That's paralyzed right. from the shoulders down. At what point did you decide to turn to this, to mouth painting? Well, while I was still in rehab, uh, I learned how to write my name. And I was always somebody who liked to make things. And so this became the thing that I could make. And I never considered myself somebody who could draw or paint. So it was just a revelation to me that here was something I could do that artist friends told me, like, you need to pay attention to this. Mm -hmm. And it was something I'd never done prior to becoming disabled. So it wasn't something I had to learn how to do in a different way. I didn't have to adapt anything. It's just the way I've always just done happened. it. And when people ask, you know, isn't it hard to paint the way you do? I just say, I have no idea. This That's is the only way I've ever done it. Uh, well, please go ahead and show us a little bit of how you paint. We've got a setup right here for you, an easel, a mock easel, your paintings, and your, um, your watercolor. Sarah paints with watercolors. And we've got an overhead camera here as well as a, uh, a handheld camera that's going to show our viewers exactly how you do. And as Sarah is painting, I will once again go over the details for this evening's event. It is from 6 to 9 tonight at Agave Print, and it is showcasing artists from the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting. Two other artists will be there, Alana Tillman and Miriam Pare, who are also some of the most influential mouth painters in the, wor in the world. So you'll be able to see some of that. Um, pretty incredible what you're doing right there, Sarah. Uh, Sarah again telling us she was in a car accident when she was 20 years old. That accident led to her neck breaking, paralyzed from the shoulders down, always been someone who was creative and chose to continue her passion of creativity and art uh, during rehabilitation. And this is what happened. She became an artist. That is incredible, Sarah. Thank you for uh, uh, showing us a little bit of this because we want to go ahead and continue speaking with you about the association uh, itself here. May I help you or? Oh, this is you fine. do, I mean, I, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's almost intuitive to ask you, may I help you, but this is something you've been doing for decades now, so you don't, you don't need my well, help or anybody else's it's help. It's also something I really enjoy because I can do it independently. Once somebody sets me up, I can paint whenever I want, and that's another reason why I love using watercolors. Mm -hmm because I can leave them set out. And that's what I was going to ask you about the particular type of medium that you use here in the paints. I've watercolor. always loved watercolor and um, I just decided that's what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. um, how many paintings do you think you have? I mean, just oh my dozens and dozens, if not yeah, hundreds. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have no idea. It's okay. Is there a particular uh, type? that you use a theme, whether it be landscape. We see I here love some doing, animals I love and flowers. Florals. I love the human form. I love doing portraits. I think I started painting with the idea that I was going to work my way up to being able to do faces and people. Uh, for those folks at home who are watching us who may themselves be disabled or know someone who is disabled, um, what words of encouragement do you have for them? I say go ahead and pick up a pen, a pencil, a paintbrush and just give it a try because it's so much fun. I mean before becoming an artist really my life stretched out before me like a dark tunnel and when I started making art it was like light. And that's the same for becoming a member of the 
moth and foot painting artists, um, it, it gave me a reason to live and it gave me a reason to be excited about getting up in the morning and getting to do something that gave, I love. Gave you a reason to be happy and smile. Absolutely. Every day. That's a wonderful story. And once again, uh, you can catch the show tonight from 6 to 9 at Agave Print. It is the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists of the World. Information right there on your screen. Thank you so much. Thank you Sarah so much Jane, for having me here.